here's the way that we do in-stream construction. Uh, this project we're pulling out an old concrete box culvert and realigning the creek channel and then we're going to put in some uh, native plantings and large woody debris, some spawning gravel because it is a salmon stream and, and rehabilitate this stream which is it's an urbanized area. This used to have houses all around it. Uh, the, the houses were removed for a larger project that we did several years ago. This is one of the last pieces of that large project. It was required by an environmental permit that we do this. So these are the steps that we take to do this kind of work. First thing is to set uh, fish screens upstream and downstream of the work area. So that this one's about 50 feet up. Uh, actually more like 75 or 80 feet up from the actual work area and same with the downstream screen uh, it's you know quite a ways down from the work area just to give us plenty of room to work so those are set in place first by a fish biologist once they're in place the biologist will come out and electroshock with just enough voltage to stun any fish that are in the stream section and then they'll net the fish and relocate them either upstream above the fish net or downstream below the lower fish net. In this particular project, they ended up doing it twice. They got 250 uh, salmon fry and uh, some fish up to maybe six or eight inches, a few cutthroat trout. They came back a week or two later and saw some fish, so they went back through and caught another 70. So quite a, quite a few just in this short stream section. Once the fish are relocated, then this, the creek is dammed up with, in this case, large uh, sandbags, large fabric bags filled with sandbags, steel sheets, whatever is necessary to stop the flow, and then set the, uh, the intake for a pump system. So this, this has a fish screen on it, which is redundant, but works really well. I believe it's an uh, 8 inch pump. And the pump size is based on the expected flow, summer flow, uh, on a design storm for the creek. And I don't remember if it's a two-year, 24-hour storm event or, yeah, I believe it is two-year, 24. So this will handle uh, the two CFS that that design storm would uh, determine, you know, the flow that that design storm would determine for this creek channel. So anyway, we've got a diesel pump up here and then several hundred feet of pipe to bypass and discharge into the lower section of the creek below the project. So those are the first steps. On this project, uh, there's groundwater and there's leakage through the, uh, the upstream dam. So a couple other pumps have been set up, more sandbags and another steel sheet jammed into the ground. And then we still need another pump on the bottom end of that. Water is being pumped up in the vegetation up above and here's the old creek channel here. The upper end of the box culvert. Lower end of the box culvert. Another pump set up. Uh, to collect any water that's draining out of the subgrade and any groundwater that's also pumped back up in vegetation. Uh, sandbag check dam just to contain anything that might end up in here and then the fish screen is down around the corner here. So that's the way we do it. The work will progress. Uh, this is all going to be graded. Two to one slopes down to the stream, the new stream channel which is going to be full width uh, and then we'll do an S curve back up into that area with two to one slopes. We'll use coir logs at the ordinary high water. We'll use erosion blankets back up slope. We'll have spawning gravel and uh, grade control weirs made of logs every 25 or so feet so it'll be a couple of logs uh, with spawning gravel back behind. Actually, you know, if you can see them, the logs are up here. So those will go in. 
And then when everything is in place, the fisheries biologists are happy with the placement of all the large woody debris and the spawning gravel will slowly release water back into the channel. Uh, we'll start pulling some pull of sheets, start pulling some sandbags up here, let the water in slowly, and then we'll have pumps down at the bottom end because the water is going to come in really dirty. So we'll take that water that's dirty and pump it back up in the vegetation. We'll do that several times until the water's clear enough that we can uh, pull the lower dam apart, let the water go, and pull the upper dam out. And then we just back out. Once that's, uh, the, the stream is flowing again in the new channel, the water's clear, we'll uh, take out the fish screens and just uh, we'll call it a day.